for dark hair, dark, dark eyed no, people. Look at the statues. Look at the statues. They have blonde hair, blue eyes. No, no. no. Yeah. there's no they're color very on those dairy. statues. They're very <laughs> there's nothing painted. <laughs> no European invented the boomerang. <laughs> we throw a stick and we have a dog to bring it back. <laughs> the Aborigines had the brains to make a stick come back to its owner. Because what this brother stands against yeah. is the acceptance that in this country, people of other ethnicities can live. So your choice is Arabization, stupid ethno-nationalism, or muscular Christianity. You choose. <laughs> so British history is connected yeah, to a United up. Kingdom. Yeah, well, the Before that, you're talking about has. English history. The Saxons used to be pagan. The um, Welsh used to be pagan as well. Um, the Cornish. You know. How long do you have to go back to say that? I'm saying the vast majority of How British long? history. How long time do you have to go back before you can say that? Okay, um, let me let me let me take specifically, you Specifically, I'd say 4,500 years ago when the Beaker people invaded Britain. You know? Right. For that, I mean, firstly, your sense of history is still rubbish because actually. <laughs> You could have said back to the 4th century. You could have said that. Yeah, Anglo-Saxons, they came as pagans. I'm sure, yeah, but I'm showing that British history has been a lot more pagan than it has been Christian. I, I am saying that there was no British identity. There's a thing called linear. There was no British linear. identity. No, I'm not talking about British identity. Oh, so now we're not talking that, about British, British identity. identity. No, no, no. Recently, recently, British identity, yeah, has been Christian. Wait, but I'm saying that are we, are the foundations we, are based on pagan rights. So are we talking Even about the British day, identity? Days of our weeks is are we talking about, the pagan Are we talking gods? about Thor, British Thursday, identity? Wednesday. Who cares? Wednesday. Are we talking Wednesday. about British identity? doesn't matter. Are we talking about British, British identity or are we talking about ethnicities? Right. So ethnic people, doesn't matter what religion they are, they stay the same. Right, so you have just said That's ethnic people, Take no matter shot. what religion they are, <laughs> they stay the same. Don't hate, don't hate. So what's your ethnicity again? Um, Lithuanian North, Jew. Yeah, Northwest European. Lithuanian Jew. It's my grand, my great grandfather was. How much is going? It's not going to be any significant amount. Right? So your idea. So, 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 so you're not the So to be clear, yeah, bro, unlucky, British, so you're mixed race. You're mixed race. Mixed race. Mixed race. Oh, it's not mixed race. So the Anglo-Celtic people came from the same people. Were the Celts and the Angles the same people? They were. 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 They I know, you don't like, I know you don't like data and genetics, but if you look at a principal component in the analysis chart, the English, the Scots, the Irish, 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 the and like kill three quarters of the population and yep. intermix with the rest. Is it still Japan? Or yeah, is exactly. It? Well, yeah, they're mongoloids, so you could say they're their own genetic cluster. But they we have in England are mongoloids. We are not mixed fucking race. Oh, yeah. We look like Chinese. We are, we are mixed we, race. Not as many race. We are mixed race. race. England, yeah. We are mixed, mixed race. race. We're mixed so there's people. nothing wrong with mixed Very ethnicities. Yeah. <laughs> um, if they're within the same race, yeah. We're, so are we talking about ethnicities now or race? Oh, is there, uh, there's a big difference between a Irish person having se um, mating with a Russian person than a um, Irish person mixing with a um, Bantu person. You, you know? started talking about British identity. Yep. He's now abandoned that, yep. okay. and he's now talking about. No, not. He's now the talking about. He's now British talking about ethnicities and races. The four nations of Britain, which are ethnically all no, 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 no. cast in the same area. So the Angles changed for four thousand. The Angles years. came from where? Yeah. Um, the Anglos. Saxons, uh, they came from northern where? Germany, Denmark, northern Germany. The Celts yeah. came from where? Same place. No. Yeah. The Celts, the Celts. How do you think they came to Britain? How do you think they the came Celts, to Britain? The Celts, the Celts, they, just pop out they the came from Gaul they actually. Just they, came from, they came from France. No, and they also, crossed the shortest the passage of water. And, also and that was sea. France. They, also came the from, they came from Gaul. North, the, North sea. the Celts, the Celts oh, were those people, <laughs> like the Portuguese, the Spanish, the Gauls, the, uh, the people in the Alps. They were a different group from the Germanic tribes. They had a different language. They had a different British, religion. British is made up of um, Western hunter um, gatherers, um, which is like the Cheddar Man, um, Neolithic um, Cheddar Man. Far Neolithic farmers, which is like um, what um, what's that island in Italy called? Um, yeah, yeah, yeah those, people, yeah, those people. Yeah, yeah, um, and um, Yamnaya, which is the Indo-European component that originated, as far as we're concerned, in Ukraine, migrated into the north 
and the, and they split off as the Bell Beaker people, which clustered in the North Sea area. And yes, the Celts came to Britain, and their and their cousins stayed behind, and they became the Saxons. There's a there's a thousand years um, drift, but then but then the Saxons came in, and you know reunited the the, the connection with their Celtic cousins, and are now genetically pretty much so, the same. So what people. I've established from you, you have no problem with migration. Yeah, so you've got no problem. You've got no problem, problem with migration. It depends on the quality and quantity. It depends on the quality and the quantity. Yeah. So these are very subjective terms. They're not subjective. They're, how, how, they're objective. How, how do we they're define? Objective. How do we define the quality of migrant? IQ tests. IQ tests. Yep. Oh. IQ tests. Right. This so, so what do we do with stupid white folk who join white the BMP? Either, either we sterilise them or we limit them to one child. Okay. So. The, this is this is what, what is this, <laughs> boy, man? this is what this brother stands for. Okay. If you stand for ethno nationalism, yeah. this is your representative. Ah, okay. Let's this is sterilize ah. stupid people yeah. or limit them to one child. Otherwise, we'll, we'll ah, kill ourselves. Okay. Yeah. You don't realize we'll, we'll, how get, we'll be getting rid of you first. Just to let you know. Um, Sterilizing okay, you first, okay. bro. You strike welfare. me as a stupid person. No, yeah, because you don't get it. Um, no, welfare, no, because welfare, you are a stupid welfare, person. Welfare is, um, is destroying the fabric of society. No, we're not talking politics. Hold on, you're talking connected. about this fake British identity. It's not fake, it's, it's this, objective. It this British identity. No, I told you, we are mixed no. of Yamnaya, it's a cult, it's not based So on we've established there is no problem with mixing races. No, Great. Mixed people. There's no problem with mixing races. Yamnaya, Western Hunt gatherers and um, ne uh, Neolithic farm farm farmers um, are, are still European. They're still in the Caucasian. You do, you do realize if you push human history back far enough, we all come from the same origin, right? Yeah. What's wrong? Africa. Africa. We all come out of Africa. Not necessarily. Uh, yeah. not necessarily. Oh wait, wait. Are you are you are you trying to suggest that human species there was two separate emergent human species? Wait. As a Christian, you think that you believe in Darwinism now? I, I I've got no problem with I've, I've got oh, no problem okay, with evolution. Okay, okay, okay. I've got no problem with evolution. Right, right, right. So uh, I've said it for monkeys, right? I've got no problem with it. Yes. So now now here's the problem. Here's the problem. If you push the history of the Homo sapiens back far enough, yep. we all come from the same pool. Why, do, yeah. why is it that we can't find any Rh negative blood in Africa? So hold on one second. Wait, 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 no, 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 you can't use the argument. You said, that, you said that white people built the pyramids. A spurious argument. Go to Bosnia. Spurious <laughs> argument. Spurious argument. Because at the end of the day, mm -hmm. the fact of the matter is, in every evolutionist, every atheist scientist, even even people, what's the Richard Dawkins, Richard, Richard what's his yeah, name, the Dawkins, selfish gene. Yeah. the selfish gene guy, selfish he would agree with me that all Homo sapiens come from the same origin. Yeah, and we go back far enough with fish. Right. What's, what's, so, what, what's the, what, what are you trying to get? get exactly. So <laughs> what you're saying is that the ethno Anglo-Saxons and their Celtic cousins can mix because they come from the same race. Genetic stock. Yeah. Genetic stock. Well, we all come from the same genetic yeah. stock. Yes. And, and, so your and argument is inconsistent. No, no, because lions and tigers can mate, but they're still their own species in many ways. Lions and they tigers can mate, but their offspring can't mate. Yeah. So it's it, that's an example of speciation. Right. He, I, if I go out with a beautiful Nigerian queen and we have children, a Nigerian yeah. queen. Yeah, and if I go out with some beautiful Nigerian woman and we have children, the fact that our children can then go on to have children shows that we are same species. Right, but your children will never be able to play a historical clip for TV Why show. Why does that matter, James? I don't don't care. Care. You're so hung up on that. I don't care. <laughs> your children are no longer Oh, they can't play Henry VIII. British history <laughs> is overrated. It only matters if they can play Henry VIII. Get them out of the country, they can't play Henry VIII. British history is is overrated. Oh. Christian history British is history. what matters. That's right. The modern world. You everything, cannot separate you British history is because from of Christianity. Man like yeah. Brother, <laughs> listen. You've, uh, you, we've already identified the start of the British identity. Oh, British okay, identity starts with the uniting of the kingdom in 1751. Yep. That means that for the vast majority of a British identity. British identity has been Christian identity. Why, why, why is that is not why, why, a controversial why, why they, statement. Why, why, why is Britannia? So why is Britannia, one why second. Britannia Wait, let me let me know one second. A pagan god. One second. Changing the topic. Spurious arguments. Let me land and then respond to my point. The British saw them let me land and, and then up. respond to let my him point. Land, let him land. So. British history, for the vast majority of its time, has been connected to a Christian identity. Oh, 
No, British history starts in 1751. United there was King, no. I'll give you the United Kingdom. There was no <laughs> sense of Britannia until yes, was. there was a United no, Kingdom. No, Britannia is what the Romans oh, called. You're just, you're just Britannia jumping is what the Romans around. Them. You're no, just jumping. jumping around. No, I'm not. No, Let no, jumping. No, jumping. Deal with this point. The word Britannia predated that year. Ah, that you decided, yeah. Yeah. Yes, the name yes, of the yes it does. But the idea of the idea of a British people. Which was pagan. No, it wasn't. Yes, it was. What was the word Britannia then? What was that used to describe? Britannia. It was used to describe. Describe these oh. islands. Yeah, which were by and, who? and the people that lived on them. Yeah, by who? By the people that lived here. And, yeah, the, and the tribes that them. lived here. The tribes that lived here actually, didn't it, describe yeah, themselves actually, as British. Actually, Britannia is referring they described to the, themselves as Celtic tribes. Britannia is actually referring to the copper mines in Cornwall in many ways. Yep. You know. They like didn't bronze. describe the themselves of having a single identity. Yeah, the Welsh bronze. were fighting the English right up to the 1400s. The, the Scottish doesn't mean they're not the same the people. The Scottish were fighting the English right up until the Act of Union. But people from Cardiff fight people from Swansea. Yeah, people exactly. from Portsmouth exactly. fight people from Swansea. Exactly. exactly. Closely related exactly. people that's fight each other all the time. Disproving right. that they're the same. Not the same people. Right, so, so British identity. Let's talk about what it means to have an identity. <laughs> it is more than a race. Uh, the foundations have to be based on race. Yeah. No, they don't no, have they to don't, be founded no, on race. They don't, race. They don't have to be founded on race. The church proves that. What do you mean the church? The church proves, the church that. proves that you can have an identity that is based upon religion, not based on ethnicity. The majority of history. Really? Yes, they have. No, yes, fail. <laughs> Fail. Uh, evidence by one. Yeah, oh, go right. on. Um, 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 Joseph Chamberlain, who was the, the, the colonial secretary, he, and I quote, he said, I believe in the British Empire, and I believe that the British race is the greatest <laughs> of governing races that the world has ever seen. He was not speaking as a Christian. That's a load of crap. Excuse me. He was not speaking as a Christian. He was speaking as a British yeah. imperialist. Are you saying that? Are you trying to try to jump in? You're saying that. Uh, Don't let him get away. Oh, no, no, no. no. <laughs> <laughs> Is this based on being genetically in better than other people? Some genes are better than other genes. So you're no, British, I don't, I, don't say. Think, I don't think God in the sky is favoring the British race to conquer the world. Yeah. I think it's down to environmental factors and selective breeding. And we know this because um, around. Um, uh, selective around, breeding? Yeah, yeah. Very good. Subtext. Very good. Selective Selective breeding. Subtext. Very good. White people are better in than black people. Ages, in the Middle Ages. Ages. Uh, okay. In the Middle Ages, um, there was an insurgency of killing off the, low, the, the criminals by hanging them if they committed crime or murder or rape. Because there was no uh, like, listen, listen, capital listen, punishment listen, anywhere listen, in the world. Many of them got through. Yeah, listen, and, by, and, by, and just like how, just like how we um, domesticate cattle or, or pets, we allow only the, the domesticated um, pets to breed and the ones that are vicious and violent, we just don't let them breed. There was another, and there was another, there was another, there was another, there was another political movement that propagated the ideas of this man. Yeah, they were called the Nazis. Called they practiced no, eugenics. They produced, they practiced eugenics. They practiced forced sterilization, and that is what he's advocating. He is advocating forced sterilization. So are you saying you are pure breed? He's not I never a pure said breed. pure breed. No, I'm just trying to say, because where you I am come North from... I'm Northwest European. That is what the British are. You're what? I'm Northwest European. That is no, the, the British, British are. aren't now. Yes, they are. No, yes, because there are Anglo-Saxons that have had children with Romanians. There are Anglo-Saxons that have had children with Jews. There are Anglo-Saxons that have had children with Franks. There are Anglo-Saxons that have had children with Arabs. And they're all British. Ah, okay. So anyone can play Winston Churchill. Right, one second. What, one second. what does this have to do with that? Now, so right, right, guys, guys, this, guys, this is why, this is why <laughs> yeah. I keep trying to pin him on the idea of the United Kingdom. Ah, okay. Because when I point out the fact that races are mixed, that there are mixed Anglo-Saxon Jewish children, yeah. he but says, well, they you... can't play a British person from the past. Kind of so when he's appealing to a history, he's appealing to a history connected to what? a nation state ah. like England, like the United Kingdom, yeah, yeah, yeah. but that kingdom that kingdom he's talking about for all of its history for all of its history identified yeah. with the church yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it identified yeah. with the Christian yeah. church yeah. if I was born not in Japan he's if trying, I was born bro, in Japan but you're not, if I was born in Europe you're born in no I want you to deal with we're not doing hypotheticals no you do need to deal with that stop running stop running 
thing and deal with my point. Oh, okay. If I was born in Japan, if I was born in Japan, I love the culture and, and the language. My point. Does that make but me? But you don't love the culture. He says he loves the culture, but he doesn't love the culture because he doesn't love the church. And the church was what gave birth to English culture. Words, yeah. I never said I it was the, the church. church that gave birth to the language. No, it was no. the church that gave the birth to the calendar. The it, was the the it was the church that gave birth to the festivals. It was the church that gave birth to the values. It was the church that gave birth to the institution. That you cannot separate England or being English yes, from the church the and Christianity. Right. And that is what he's trying to do. Right. 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 The monks, so, the monks, so, the so answer the, the question. The pagan past, there are English people more. who have had children with Jews. Yep. There are English people who have had children with Arabs. Yep. You are mixed race. The they are mixed race. The Why is their mixed race the wrong? But even your mixed Alfred race, the Great, right? Even Alfred the Great acknowledged that he descended from um, Odin. He's the not Christian. answered what? the question. Alfred the Great is called Alfred not, the Great not, not because he was a Christian <laughs> king who dedicated his kingdom <laughs> to destroying the pagan Vikings of the north. Yeah. That is why he's acclaimed as Alfred and the Great. Christians he fought been. against the pagan Vikings. He conquered the pagan Vikings. He saved Anglo-Saxon Christendom. He doesn't know his history. He doesn't know the history of the Anglo-Saxon people. You don't know anything, just admit it. No, I can't speak at the same um, loud. So he wins by he's got, he's got a voice of the Holy Spirit. So you can just answer my question and we can go back to having a conversation. So here is the question. contest or you're going to answer my question. So here's the question. We'll do question for question. You answer one of mine, I'll answer one of yours. It seems fair. Does that seem fair? It does, doesn't it? Yeah, good bit of Christian fairness for you. Treat the people as you want to be treated. So, it's Jesus' commandment. It overrules them all. So, yeah, there's no so, such thing as men and women. Let's here, let's well. let's 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 look at this. Let's look at this, right? Yep. It's a well-known fact that there are Anglo-Saxons who've had children with Romanians, there are Anglo-Saxons who've had children with Jews, and there are Anglo-Saxons that have had children with Russians, and there are Anglo-Saxons that have had children with Arabs. And the royal family is the best Are they still English when half their genetics comes from the Anglo-Saxon? Um, they're not as English as the more indigenous English. So what you're saying is, would you exclude them from the English nation? Oh, how do you nope. distinguish them? Right, so they are part of the English DNA nation. Yeah, no. Right, great. So we've established that there's no problem with with mixing races. Uh, no, 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 there is no, 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 he describes yeah. it. As long as they're white. Apart, apart, no, exactly. apart from the Arabs. Yeah. Yeah. Apart, yeah. apart from the Arabs, what's wrong with being Arabs? No, There's nothing wrong with being Arabs. They're, 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 they're further <laughs> separated than the Europeans you're describing. <laughs> There's agree. nothing you wrong. I saw, I saw that nod. With Polish people, with Romanians, Jews, Ashkenazi Jews, they all are in their European um, genetic stock. So, so Jews, Jews, as I've told you, you mean white. Palestine, bro. As, as I've told you, they come from the as I've told you, the Congolese are, are, are genetically. Ashkenazi are genetically, Jews come from the Caucasus. One minute, the Congolese are genetically further away no, from the Aborigines, and they're both the so same you, colour. Would you, thank you. Would you exclude? Would you exclude a mixed Arab Saxon child? What do you mean oh. exclude? Say that they're not part of the English nation. Um, well, again, they have to do genetic. Uh, anyone who does a genetic D DNA test is going to be not as um, English as, say... He's not answering my question. Yeah, my question thing. was, <laughs> would you exclude a mixed Arab Anglo-Saxon child from the English nation? I wouldn't, like, kick them out, but I would say, yeah, you, you, you wouldn't... I'm gone. You're not typically what the English people would look like. You know? So you're saying they're not English? No. This is the problem right. with the right. just Now, here's so the bad. problem with his logic. Yeah. He wants to say he's English, yeah. even though he's got Jewish blood in him. Tiny. Tiny uh, So what? Tiny bit. So what? Still mixed race. What does it mean? You're still Ashkenazi, mixed race. Ashkenazi, Ashkenazi Jews came from the Caucasus. There's European. no such thing they as the pure European. Northern European.
European. Yes, they are. We're all mixed race and we all no. come from the same origin. No. Many admixtures all the time as well. All human that. beings come from the same the ethnic genetic area. pool. Why do RH negative blood? We can't find an A spurious argument. It's about speciation. I can have a child with any beautiful woman from Nigeria or Ethiopia. I can wouldn't allow us to breed with them if he didn't want it to have some odors. Don't, don't, well, don't claim you know anything about odors. Well, they don't. So are you trying to argue that the are you trying to argue that the the, the human race that is identifiable as Northern European yeah. is a different species from the human race that is identifiable as East Horn African? No, they're not the same species, but different. They're not the same species. They are the same species. They are the same species. But that doesn't mean that they're the same. It doesn't mean we should be mixing. Right, so now that we've established that they are the same species, people, people will do what they like. I'm just saying that you're playing with fire. There's nothing, there's no, nothing wrong with that. I don't see the problem with mixing. Yeah, mixing exactly. There is no your problem. Ancestry, yeah, we're closely related people. The Jews are not closely related yes, to Northern are. Europeans. Ashkenazi. He's got Jewish blood in him. On my father's side, so that by default makes me not Jewish. Yeah. But no, hold on. You're making a religious argument now to try and get away from the fact that you've got Jewish blood in you. Yeah. But earlier not, you were making I, an argument about genetics. I think most Europeans have you Jewish are, blood in you, them you know at what? some point. He's, he's, he's changed the goalposts. He's, changed he's the goal changing the goalposts. You're, you're associating you know, me with a national socialist, which we're into. You this are a spectrum. national socialist. I am not. You, you are a national socialist. You've admitted it. You've admitted it. The Nazis were against um, white identity. Oh, they are anti Slavic, you know. And they, yeah, they killed millions of Slavs. The Nazis were against the white identity. Look, the British at those times were more pro-white than the Nazis because the Nazis were anti-Slavic. They didn't hate Slavs, they just they wanted did. them out they the way. And they wanted to settle them. that land with no, Germans. No, they, they wanted to slaughter the Slavs. Hitler existed to slaughter the Slavs. Right? He wanted Lebensraum, living space. Right, and the British, the British were more pro-white than the Nazis but it's, in those times. If, if, and, and, and aren't you exactly celebrating the idea of colonialism and conquest? Yep. Yep. So in what way are you different to the Nazis again? Um, because unlike the Nazis, the British took pride in helping those people that they conquered. What? Helping? Yep. You're helping? That? Yep, yep. We, the, their GDP um, grew in um, India and Africa, the population grew, um, we, um, we got rid of poverty, we gave them technology and medicine, and we got rid of slavery. We also you know. did slavery. We got rid of it. We, we yeah. did, we did, yeah. we did. Yeah, yeah. people, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. What people inspired, saying that the white people should be ashamed what, what of slavery. What inspired the rest them? of the world should be ashamed that it's been ruled by got the rid of slavery. What, what was country? it that inspired the English to get rid of slavery again? Oh yeah, some Christians. Yeah. Thank you. It was the Fine. Christians Fine. that inspired the English yeah, to get rid of slavery. Yeah, but it was mostly economic. It wasn't, economic. It, wasn't, it wasn't something that the it English was did. It was economic. It wasn't good. something that the English did. Yes, no, was. you're wrong. When was the first time that slavery was abolished in England? Um, William the Conqueror. Thank you. And why did he do it? Uh, I'm not sure. <laughs> because he saw it as incompatible with Christian But dignity. you just said it was mostly why, economic why, before why, that, why, 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 why did you know other Christians do that? They did. When? I'll give you a list. Were they unique? Were they only no, no. people that ended slavery where there was Christians. no to do it? No, one second, you're English. wrong. Or, or Norman. Wrong. Let me, let me just, let me just correct you. Because, because ah. this is the point. This is the point of, yeah. so of this kind of... So, because Are you listening, bro? Your the one half is very genetically far apart than the other. No, no. Yes. We we, we are like closer genetics. to he one doesn't another. Like genetics. He doesn't like no, genetics. No, no. Let's stop the names of nations that abolish slavery. Yeah. So, so nations that abolish slavery. Are you listening? Eight seven three. Pope John the Eighth abolishes slavery. He bans the holding of Christian slaves. Nine sixty. Listen. Listen. Nine sixty. The A D. Doge Pietro the Fourth. Ban slave trading outright for everyone in 960 AD. 1080, William the Conqueror bans slavery in England. 1102, the Church Synod of London condemns slave trading. 1117 AD, slavery was banned outright in Iceland. 1220 AD, the, Sash the Sachsen Spiegel in Germany condemned slavery because human beings were made in the image of God. 1256 AD in Bologna banned slavery outright for everybody. 1315 Louis X 
ban slavery in France and states that any slave who enters into his kingdom automatically is free. By the way, the Islamic slave trade continued for 1400 years without interruption. It was Christianity that tackled the slave trade, not ethnicity. They didn't do it because they were white. And then the Portuguese and Spanish came to Africa and they enslaved, well, they accepted slave trade from the African kingdoms, you know. And why did they do that? Because, because of colonial, nationalistic, yeah, because, imperial because, impulses. Because, yeah, because um, we, we had addiction to sugar and it's really hard to, um, you you know, get people who are willingly to cut down sugar cane, so we had to have a force that could literally work. And who, who resisted them? What do you mean? Who resisted the Portuguese and Spanish colonialists in enslaving the natives? Well, eventually, yeah, the British. Um... No, it was the monastics, the Franciscans and the Dominicans. They appealed to the Pope. They took them on, they argued against them. They argued that because these peoples had converted to Christianity, they could not be taken as slaves. <laughs> so, even back then, there were, there were Christian historians who wrote about slavery in a condemnatory fashion. There was a Christian mystic who said that Spain would be punished by God because of the slave trade. And he wrote that in the 1400s. And did that happen? Yes, Spain was punished. How? The Civil War. That was God. That was God. I believe God works in oh, history. Okay. Spain <laughs> was punished. It has been broke law. Uh, okay. What about the Portuguese? I'm talking about the mystic that talked about Spain. No, oh, but the Portuguese, they, they were the ones who um, um, have we, have channeled we, have Africans we, the most. Have we established, have we established, have we established that it was Christianity, not some ethnic drive, that led to the abolition of slavery? Uh, yeah, but the, Brit the, Brit the British did the most. So it's got nothing to do with being British yes, and everything to yes, do does. with being yes, Christian. Yes, it does, because if you followed what I said, that um, the, the, the Northern Europeans, especially the British Isles, were killing off 1% of the violent low IQ population every generation. This happened over number, enough generations for the British to be more, more um, domestic and therefore le um, less ruthless than other people. So, and, the, and we, you know, it's our genetics that allowed us to feel like, That's yeah, we, we, we should not, we should not enslave man. these people. It's wrong because we are more domestic. Totally, people. totally no, it's irrelevant. Not, it's it's irrelevant, not irrelevant to the point. Because I've just demonstrated that all the way through Christian history, Christians were British, fighting against but slavery. The British did the most to end it because of their influence of Christianity no, it was on genetics. them. This is, I mean, I, I've given him evidence. All he's got is a spurious connection that somehow, somehow your genetics lead you to want to abolish slavery. Oh, Jamie, correlation does not imply causation. You do you realize that all the time. But I'm going to say that it's true. Time is linear, all right? Until it's true, time it's true, is bro. Linear. I've given you, you spout, example Just because you spout example, out some things what Christians example, say does not disprove what I'm saying. It has disproved. You what you were saying. At genetics, you see that the patterns are... What patterns? What patterns are you appealing to? I told you that. That the, that, the, that the homicide the homicide rate in Europe was was declining because we were killing off the low IQ um, criminal population. This is how you domesticate animals. It's the same thing. We get the Arctic foxes. They um, in order for them to be domesticated. So are you advocating fur, killing in unintellectual people? No, I would I have them. When do we take you to the execution chamber? No, no, no. <laughs> Instead of killing them, well, if they commit a crime, we should definitely bring back capital punishment. Okay, I'm um, not necessarily against capital punishment. Well, I could. Is he asking as you do? Yeah, yeah. I regard, I, yeah, I regard them as European. Yeah. Wait, wait, so wait, what wait, about their wait, African wait, side? Wait, 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 going with an Ethiopian and they have a child so yeah, that half be, yeah, Ashkenazi that would, that would Jew, be, that would be European. half Ashkenazi Jew, half Does this look like a European to you? Yep, <laughs> looks like a European. Yeah, he looks like a European. He looks like a European. Big hair, big lips, I am not look European. Yeah, he looks like a European. He doesn't believe he looks European, but he is European. Alright, fine. I wouldn't say you're like a bit good. Really? Let me ask you this question. Does he look like a human? Right, great. Got so, legs. yeah, fantastic, fantastic. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Now, so since genetically we all come from the same pool of people, we are all are, all originating from that same native. We have Africans in Botswana. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So we, we oh, come okay, from that same genetic pool. 
On what basis then do we start saying that, that some people are inferior and some people are I never are said people are inferior. Yeah. It's ah, all about, um, um, <laughs> I, I could totally imagine Africans being the most intelligent people if they went through the same thing that the English went through. By killing off the low IQ, violent population, either through um, sterilization or, or capital punishment, their IQ will um, increase over time, you know? Intelligence is genetically inherited through the maternal mind. Alright. So, I'm not, I'm not that. Uh, you, think it's just, you think it's just the mother's side? Can I ask, are you a geneticist? I'm a psychologist. Right, are you a geneticist? Uh, I'm no, we aren't. <laughs> He's not a geneticist. Right. Yeah. Can I just add, caution everyone <laughs> <laughs> about taking anything that any incompetent says about genetics. Would it matter if I had a degree in geneticists? It yeah, it would. Yes, it would. It would, it would, it would matter. It would, it would matter because then I would be arguing genetics against a geneticist. Oh, yeah. Whereas all, all I'm doing at genes. the moment... We all know he's got no, 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 no. Genes, yeah. There's no way I could do open heart surgery if I've never been a doctor in my life. It doesn't work like that. That's yeah. a very good point. Yeah. <laughs> he probably believes that whites have higher IQ than blacks, yeah? Who's that? Um, he's, and, he's and, and East Asians have higher IQs than whites. Because um, mostly rice farming. And fish. No, right, fine. This is this is the kind of this is this is this is thing is too, let, let's, too let's just deconstruct this is too let, much. Let's you know? let's let's just deconstruct the narrative. Deconstruct because what he's saying is that your IQ is what makes you of value. No. Oh, okay. the, 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 the dumb and the stupid need to be sterilized. Oh, yeah. And it just so happens that because Africans haven't gone through the same experience as the English European, that therefore they're less intelligent. Wow. Okay. Now just put all the dots together Ooh. of what he stands for. Sorry, I have to interrupt you all there. We started civilization. The Kush Empire was before all other empires. Babylon was Africa. Egypt. Yeah, that's the right, Egypt, right. The <laughs> Egypt, you had me at Kush. The Egypt, the Egypt, <laughs> the Egypt in the Bible is not the Egypt of today. The Egypt in the Bible was Egypt of people who look like look at the Egyptian we mummies. are the ones the Egyptian who mummies enslaved. Were look at the Egyptian we mummies. We are the were ones blonde. who enslaved the Jews. Was people who look like some me. random, some random Jews, correlation right? between blonde Egyptian. But the, Kush, the Kushites, yeah. the Kushites, yeah. Ethiopia, we started civilization. Yeah. The Egyptians. All civilization is extracted from the Babylonian Empire. But you did have a historical like advantage, so which is that humans came out of Africa. Yeah, yeah. So you, that, no offense, but you did have a historical yeah. advantage over the rest of us. <laughs> <laughs> until some, until some Africans made it to Northern Europe, there was no chance of having a Northern Sorry, European Africans civilization. Africans are not inferior to any race. No, I, wait, wait, obviously I'm not saying that. I hope you pick that up. Yeah. Anyway, anyway. Saddam said an Arab is not superior. Oh, do it, do it, do it. He called an Ethiopian raisin head for That's not. Why is it Arabs are incapable of winning a war? Have you seen the Amai Palace? That's a stupid argument. No, they can't. Stupid argument. The Arabs won plenty of wars. No, in Israel. In the early days. In the early days. Hold on. The Jews haven't won a war since the Six Day War. Hold on one second. Hold on one second. No offense, bro. But you can't use Muhammad as an example. Because Muhammad thinks you need to worship God in Arabic. Red you red need red. to bow to an Arab city, yeah. you need to imitate an Arab man, yeah. you need to take on Arabic names, ah, okay. you need to copy the habits of Arabs. Ah, okay. Isn't that what all the hadiths are about? Yeah. We don't need any lectures from Islam because Islam mm -hmm. is just Arabization. <laughs> And we see that, we see that there are converts yeah, here, yeah, yeah, African yeah. converts to Islam, Jamaica. coming from Jamaica. <laughs> and then what do they do when they convert to Islam? Well, they start dressing like an Arab. Ah. They take an Arab name. They try to speak in Arabic ah. with a Caribbean accent. <laughs> <laughs> it's the most hysterical thing in the world. Christians. I mean, Christians. Like, Christians. Like, like Abraham Lincoln. You know, a white guy called Abraham. Like, I mean, isn't that kind of Here's the difference. Here's the difference. Christianity says that there is dignity in your ethnicity. There is dignity in your tribe. There's dignity in your tribe because we are all made in the image of God. Amen. And that is given to you by God, irrelevant of any other condition. Irrelevant of your economic situation. Irrelevant of your IQ. Irrelevant of your ability. The dignity that is given to you is given to you by God unconditionally. Amen. Based That's on the right. fact that you are made in his image. Yes. Which means that every ethnicity, tribe and people have something to bring to the table. And the church brings them together.
in a confederacy of tribes and nations that are united in their faith in Christ. By comparison, by comparison, this guy has an inconsistent ideology that says some degrees of mixing races are acceptable if it makes him look okay as a Northern European. Yeah. But some other I mixing want, of races like are my, bad like because uncle. they don't make him look Everyone like a Northern wants, European. Like ah. Who cares what you want to look like? Bro? And this That's guy's objective. ideology is even worse Why? because he says every ethnicity is great so long as they all copy the Arabs ah, and, no. an Arabic oh, no. and worship to an Arabic oh, no. and take an Arabic <laughs> name and copy the culture of the Arabs. Bob, we're forgetting the fact that we no, don't need any of that. We have something no. better. It is our Lord Jesus Christ. Right. Amen. Amen. It is the apostles and the prophets. Amen. Right. It is the church. Amen. Extra ecclesia nulla salus. Outside of the church there is no salvation. Right. These people come can't save Western Europe. They are the ones destroying Western how do you Europe. Sell, how do you solve the welfare state? That's a political question. No, yeah, it's, it's, it's not an ethnic it's, question. You're saying yeah, that yeah, yeah, Christians yeah, yeah, yeah. It's have never tried to move yeah. their ideology. But why we got I haven't said that. No, Where no, did no, I say that? Were well, you saying the fact that if you become an Arab, you have to, if, no, My sorry, name is you become a Muslim, an Arabic name. you have to start it's using an Arabic name. But Somali Christian name. areas like Europe and Africa, everyone's called Michael and David. So how is it really that? Yeah. It's different because it's not forced onto the Christian population. In that way, the culture is not They're choosing to do that. You're not supposed to be a palace. You're not. No, we're not called to be Palestinian Jews. Look what happened to like Egypt. That. This is what I'm saying. The lady was right. Egypt looked like Nubians. No. They looked more like this no. bro like and this bro. Look at the blonde mummies. <laughs> yeah. No, what happened? Egyptian mummies, they have blonde hair. What happened? You look at the statues, they have blue eyes. That was because that was because of the Greek conquest no, of Egypt, in the Age. followed by this the Roman the conquest. What, what the pyramids were built by Nubians. Yes, they were built by Nubians. They were oh, not built the by Europeans. <laughs> No, no, no. Yeah, it's it's not, it's not get Go and look at the imagery of Egyptian art and you see a Nubian. You don't see a European. Now, look at Egypt today. Do they speak Coptic? No. What language are they speaking? Arabic. Do they use Coptic names? No. What names are they using? Do they dress like Nubians? No. Who are they dressing like? Arabs. 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 Do they do they honor their own history? No. No. Uh, Who are they honoring? Where Muhammad. are they going? Muhammad. An Arab civilization. Yeah. Arabization. Yeah. That's what Islam is. Had red hair. So your choice is Arabization, stupid ethno nationalism, <laughs> or muscular Christianity. Right. You choose. There's one. You There's choose. There's one. 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 Skyfather from the Indo-Europeans. Deus Bult is a term used by Christians during the Crusade. It was pagan in origin. It was the cry of the Templars when they were liberating Christian lands from Islamic occupation. It was the cry of the Christian Templars when they were fighting the Islamic jihadi armies that were attacking Christian pilgrims, that were desecrating Christian churches, that were seeking to conquer Christian lands, that were seeking to enslave Christian Why did the Pope execute the Templars? Because he was in at the hooks of the King of France, who was indebted to the Templars and wanted the institution wiped away because he didn't want to pay them back for the loans that they took from him. Learn your history. He doesn't know his history. And this is the point. This is the point. What's the point? Our church father, C.S. Lewis, talks about these modernist ideologies. Communism. Nazism. Yeah. <laughs> Ethno-nationalism, they're all based upon the same fallacy. Yeah. The fallacy of the Hegelian dialectic. The idea that you can chart some course of history based upon limited information. This guy... This is what this he is doing. Yeah. He, he doesn't know his history. No, no, all he's are... got... Is a few spurious facts and a few facts. spurious oh, correlations. Why do, you care? Why do I care? 
Because what this brother stands against yeah. is the acceptance that in this country people of other ethnicities can live. Christianity yeah. was never ethno-nationalist. Yes, it was. Yeah. Christianity yeah. was not ethno-nationalist. Yes, it was. 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 Yes, it
and as a Christian. You don't know your history. This person you don't know your rejects history. the history of the no, church, I embrace yeah. it. and therefore I, he rejects the history of the Anglo Saxon. Yeah. Yeah. He, he has abandoned country. his heritage. He has abandoned his culture. He has abandoned everything. I worship the gods. That makes the Anglo Saxons English. The Christians were pagan. You are pagan. You are your pagan. Look at Britannia. Britain became an empire and the The Britannia the symbol was invented Pagan. in the 1700s. Pagan. Pagan. It was a modern thing. They created the British Empire. There are paintings of Britannia there accepting the matter. trident. Spurious Poseidon connection. Spurious connection. Because the empire Britannia. that he's talking about <laughs> was an empire <laughs> that was fashioned and influenced in, pagan in a Christian in identity. No, he said something wrong. The Ethiopian church is a historical African church. No one forced the Ethiopians to convert. He doesn't know the history of the church in Africa. The church in Africa is 2,000 years old, just like the church in Europe. He doesn't know his history. So, he said that just because people of different ethnicities become Christian, it doesn't, doesn't make them anything. equal. It doesn't mean anything. This is what the Bible says. Come and go. For all of you who Religions were baptized into Christ have clothed yourselves with Christ. There is neither Jew nor Greek. There is neither slave nor freeman. There is neither male nor female. For you are all one in Christ Jesus. And if you belong to Christ, then you are Abraham's descendants, as according to the promise. Your ethnicity does no not define your identity. No your values and your beliefs Define no your identity. We Christians offer an identity that all of humanity can embrace. Doesn't mean we're equal. Yes, it does. No, it doesn't. There is equal dignity. I literally just showed you. Literally just showed you. I didn't say superior, but they're not equal. Yeah, what makes one superior than the other? Look at Chinese yeah, what makes this beer in the other? Um, it's, most, 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 it's mostly down to if you live in the northern hemisphere, in the north, where your um, people have to get used to preparing for the winter, then it's going to give you a um, certain genetics that makes you more susceptible mm. to preparing for the future. Whilst you live below the equator, then because there's no need to prepare for the winter, then you have less of incentive to prepare for the future. You know, I'm basically saying that, um, you know, Africa, South America, Aboriginal Australia, they are a victim of their There were Africans that lived so that lived more, above the equator. No, no, yeah, no, no, there, there were. was more technologically were. superior than North American and Native North Americans than North America, or Native South America. Um, what do you mean? So, like, who built civilization? The Native Americans in the north or the Native Americans in the south? You mean, like, you call the north and south or the south? You, you mean the Aztecs? Yeah. You can still build civilization but not be of um, the same IQ as the Chinese. Yeah. But, so, why was civilization not built in North America but it was built in the south? No, no, I suspect that people from the north came down to the south and built civilization. It's the same with the Indo Europeans. We created the Babylonian they Empire, we created the Egyptian Empire, the Greek Empire, the oh, Empire. Oh, myths, myths, myths. It's a societal construct of what constitutes civilized. We, we know now that North, North America is some of the most fertile land ever, but they couldn't build any civilizations there, they have to go down south. Does that, make, that kind of contradicts your theory? No, that people live above the equator. And remember, the Romans, the Romans, they were dark haired, dark, dark eyed people. Nope. Look at the statues. Look at the statues. They have blonde hair, blue eyes. No, no. no. Yes. there's no color on those statues. There's nothing painted. They're just statues. There's the marble yeah, statues. They, Nothing's they, painted. They, yeah, they worship blonde hair people. Yeah, but they call the Germans. Yeah. And who painted those pictures? Really? They weren't painted by even, even the Romans. Pope, even the Pope said when he saw um, angles, he said, who are they? You have blonde people. Yes, angles. so that means that They're the Pope angles. wasn't a blonde-haired yeah. white European, was he? No, he was no, no, olive-toned no. Mediterranean. 100, 100 BC. Yeah, Muhammad called the Romans blondies. Um, 
Um, I'm, not, and I'm, not say, I'm not saying all the Romans with blonde hair, but they're um, out the out the Who the prophet man is? You saying the prophet man? Who what? cares what his testimony is, man? I'm just saying that this, um, like, who I presume to be Muslim, just calls something. Why do you presume to be Muslim? Oh, yeah, you should be. So that's just a Muslim. There's a majority Muslim. So a Muslim is a race now, is it? So you can no, see no, me and look at me. Anyway, Bob, you are getting into moral hazard. It's not helpful. Listen, listen, listen. He says that he doesn't make them equal. Yeah. This is what Christianity teaches. Uh, a renewal. Speaking of baptism. Speaking of a Christian identity. A renewal in which there is no distinction between Greek and Jew. Between the circumcised and the uncircumcised. Between barbarian, Scythian, slave and freeman. But Christ is all and in all. That is your choice. Why, an why, identity. Many, why medieval times was there a hierarchy? An identity. Why medieval times was there a hierarchy? If everyone's supposed to be equal, if everyone's supposed to be equal, why is there a hierarchy? Can unite people peoples in a common cause for this kind of Hegelian he historicism he that simply divides hazards. man against he, he man? He is betraying what it means to And what Christian. about Northern Europeans opposing Southern Europeans? Because by well, his really logic, said that one group really is better that than so the other. I didn't say that nationalism! Ethno-nationalism! No, 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 how about you here. take your talk somewhere else? Ethno-nationalism simply will destroy European civilization well, and culture. Hung Hungary's doing great. Because it Hungary's will pit people Victor against Orban. Victor people. Orban, who he venerates. Oh, so venerate. Victor Albrun is a Christian nationalist. Ethno-Christian nationalist. He is a Christian nationalist. He's Hungary talking about Christian civilization. England is for the English. I, I to Nigeria be or not to be, is that is the question. <laughs> China is for the Chinese. Look at the clown. Japan is for the Look Japanese. Look at the clown. But bear in mind what clown. this man stands for. I am for a God. sterilization. I am a God. <laughs> for sterilization. We for, we yes, look like me. Down. Judging <laughs> people based on their IQ. And, and other things. The gross generalization you that Africans are less US, intelligent than Europeans. You cannot European. join the US military if your IQ is under 83. They the reality that. is, is a disaster. the he reality is, is this he doesn't bro understand genetics. stands he doesn't for understand trap. <laughs> Ethno-nationalism has failed in Europe. Yeah. We don't need it. it. We don't want it. White people I am an Anglo-Saxon and I oppose this man <laughs> in Christ Jesus. Go back to your shelter, host. I oppose him for all of my African brothers and sisters. I oppose him for all of my Armenian brothers and sisters. I oppose him for all my Slavic brothers and sisters. I am Anglo-Saxon. I am Anglo-Saxon. Christians. I'm more oh. Anglo-Saxon than you. There's no Jew in me. You're Jewish. I'm not Jewish. I'm more ethnic than you are. So why are you in my country? Why are you insulting my culture? Why are you insulting my history? I would have 20,000 of he this Christian hypocrite. brother here yeah. than I would have one of you desecrating the sacredness of my soil. Deport Jamie! Yeah. Deport Jamie yeah. and the ethno nationalists. Deport Jamie and the ethno than any Christian from Ethiopia. That is a fact. Any? What a generalization. So what about the Ethiopian surgeons? That work in the NHS and save lives. Ethiopia's Compare yourself. Is in the 70s. Compare yourself. So an, an Ethiopian surgeon, a heart surgeon, so you've what? contributed more than them. I will. On what grounds? <laughs> oh, I will. I will. I will. So in other words, what he's saying, he hasn't. So all the Ethiopian heart surgeons have contributed more than him. Uh, that Ethiopian right. heart surgeons need to stay in Ethiopia. And this they is need why. Those very badly. This they is need those why. You need to get out of the country, bro. What? We, we need, we need this guy to leave. We're taking in people every 
every day. No we need, yeah. we need a muscular Christianity in the United Kingdom. Give you a repatriation package. Because fifteen thousand. Yes. No, one hundred pounds. Yes. Delivering to like Costa Rica. We'll send you to Ethiopia for free. <laughs> <laughs> they might teach you how to be civilized. They might teach you how to have an intellect. Now the British did a great job in I'll have 20,000 of my Indian wow. sister before I have one of him. Is that why it on I'll have 20,000 <laughs> Ethiopian Christians before I want one of him. I'll have 20,000 Arab Christians before I'll have one of him. I'll have 2 million Pakistani Christians before I have one of him. Right, right. He's no better than a Salafist. He's no better than a Jihadi. This man and his ideology is the scum of the earth. It destroys English culture. It destroys English heritage. I can stand on you what is English in the face of your by sisters. my ethnicity and by my culture yeah. because my culture as an Englishman was yeah. Christian which was pagan yeah. was Christian which was pagan it was the Christians that it formed every aspect of our identity Christianity is the truth it's pagan. Christianity is the truth this guy is, the truth. is destroying England what? These people can't save England, they're going you to destroy it. Yeah. Because his hazards. type of people yeah. are pushing everyone into no. the arms no. of they're the liberal progressives. They're coming into our ranks now. But muscular Christianity yeah. can unite Ethiopian, Where Pakistani, Slavic, Germanic, Celtic in the Russia common cause of Let defending a Christian civilization in Europe. Who's got the muscles? Yeah. Talking about he has, he has, he has. He, he wasn't even grew up. He hasn't even got, got any brains, bro. <laughs> and you've got no brains as well. Look at that, attacking people already, bro. Then you've lost your arms. You got nothing. You got nothing. You got nothing. But a stupid, egotistical pride. You don't care about genetics. Stupid, egotistical pride. You don't care about genetics. He's right. I don't care about genetics. And he will be destroyed because of it. No. The church will live. No. The church can't be conquered. The Christian church was only The Roman Empire came and went. And the church the is Christian still here. Church the right. the Slavic empires came and went, genetics. and the church is still here. Right. The European no, kingdoms the came the and went, and the church the is still here. Right. The Islamic yeah. caliphate, yeah. right. founded by Muhammad, came and went, the and the church the is still here. Right. Right. The Third Reich you came and went. And the, the church is still here. The, the, right. the communist New Year says all came and went. The and the Nazis church is still here. The, the, church, will the church will be here when the United the Kingdom is, is a footnote in history. The church will be here when the church was here when the pics disappeared from history. The church will be here when the Anglo-Saxons disappear from history. The Saxons were pagan, they continued on talking about the I am Anglo-Saxon. My family has lived in these isles for a thousand years. I am not descendant from an immigrant like he is. No. <laughs> he is descendant from a Lithuanian Jew. Ah, but mostly I have more claim to these islands than he does no, he by does. his logic. <laughs> yes, thank you. Well, by you his logic. Well, you, you need, you need to take a and that is why. You need to take a genetic test. No, I don't. Yes, you do. Because my identity is in Christ I don't know, he's and Jew. not my he ethnicity. My identity was given to me by God at my baptism. When was that? I am part of the church. You were not born a Christian. The people am, of God. I am to, right, right, you. but I was born as a Catholic. Therefore, I am Every more Christian. Christianity than you do. You have disinherited no, yourself. You reject I've embraced Catholic the bigger truth and meaning. No, no, you reject your Catholic. Really? Yes. So what really is the bigger truth of Catholicism? That is pagan. 
Rubbish. <laughs> Rubbish. <laughs> why do the Christians? Why do the who Catholic? Do, who do Christians do the, worship? Um, well, they say that we cannot go to. Who our, do the Catholics proclaim as God? Once in your life. The Catholic priests have gone, gone down to saying we must never go to our Lord Jesus Christ except through Mary. They don't say that. Liars. 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 Lies. Lies. Liar, liar. Lies. Yes, they do. The Catholic Church says that there is one mediator between man and God, and that is the they Lord Jesus Mary. Christ. Amen. They worship Mother Mary. Lie they again. Liar, liar. 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 Lie again. Go lying. Catholics make, make a distinction. Co Catholics what? make a distinction between the history. divine he glory that is given to God and the honour given to the saints, and they are not the same thing. You don't know your history. You don't know your theology or your history. That's the fact. That's you the don't know anything. <laughs> you don't know anything at all except bigotry and pride. That is all you've got in your heart, and it has failed you. So, so it's like, it's like, um, she, yeah, well, no, that's she has a role in the redemption. All right, but here's some pagans that, well, here's some Christians that were pagan, that's but they converted to Christianity because it was like a form of paganism. So they converted to Christianity, so they're not pagan. Because Christianity is pagan in its origin. Christianity is origin from Judaism. They believe in a Jewish Messiah. He was a, all right, all right, this guy. This man pagan. doesn't know anything. Ladies and gentlemen, you're listening to a clown. I think I've exposed enough here of your lies. A, right, here's a fish. Your choice is simple. Shut the fuck do up, you want a muscular Christianity or do you want this kind of ethno-nationalism? You choose. Listen, this was a Let's go, guys. Listen. I'm done. No, no. Goodbye. No, no. Don't run away from me. Don't run away from me. Now let's get a debate going between the blessing of the Lord. Jesus is Lord. Jesus is Lord. Jesus is Lord. Jesus is Lord. Alright, there was a bishop in Antioch. This is wrong, no way. Impossible. Impossible. He was a pagan who converted to Christianity later converted on. Converted to life. Christianity! Listen, listen, he wanted to convert to a Gnostic Christianity using pagan theology or terminology. So he's not a Christian then, in so you're not even using an example. The sun, a type of God, and the moon a man. So that's not a Christian. A not a Christian. Not a Christian. Gnostics are not Christians. Make me. Make me. Make me. Well, describe God make as a trinity. Make me say that God you know better is than the hands and a word we and We don't need the salafists. We don't need Islam. And we don't need ethno-nationalism. What we need is a muscular Christianity. You're using examples of people that aren't these even are Christian. Christian. These are the original Christians. These are examples of people that are not even Christian. A pagan who converted to Christianity in his later life. Before he was dead, he became a member of the cult. And okay, guys, I'm going to do some talks. He Thank said, you, he, said he believed that the original Christians you, did not believe in a trinity. He said that those Christians who still believe in yeah, one yeah. God were too simple. The uh, trinity comes from paganism. Who cares Do what he research. thinks? Right. Thank you, Jamie. Your God is false. Your religion is a false. Linear history. Pagan Gnostic heresy.